This is the helpful lock picker here, and welcome back to my lock picking homeschool series. The video I have for you today is on the zipping technique. What you need in order to do this is a standard hook or a half diamond, and also a bottom of the keyway tensioner. And I have a good spread of locks here that I'm going to try to show you how to zip open. The first one we're going to do is my clear acrylic lock. So what we need to do is do light bottom of the keyway tension, then we're going to stick our pick into the back of the lock and rapidly pull it out. This is a kinetic attack that will launch all the driver pins up and all the key pins will drop back down and in that split second hopefully the plug will turn over. It doesn't always happen on the first try, sometimes you have to give it a couple tries, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to do light bottom of the keyway tension and we're going to give it a whirl. One, two, three and we are now open. You can see that the plug is turned. When you do zip, you can see the key pins, how it will just launch them all up quickly one at a time, and then hopefully everything will clear and it will open up. So the next lock I'm going to do is the master lock model number three. This is one of the quintessential starter locks for people starting out. This is a four pin lock with all standard pins. I'm going to do light bottom of the keyway tension and I'm going to try to zip it open right now. So we're just going to put the hook right in the back of the lock and see what happens. And it just opened up. You don't always get it on the first try, but often you get it pretty quickly. Now the next lock is another master lock. It's the model number 140. This is a four pin lock that has some spool pins in it. This one has about one in it, but it doesn't really make too much of a difference because it never really comes into too much play. And here's the bidding on this key. Nothing too serious. So I'm going to do light bottom of the keyway tension. I'm going to put my hook right in the back and just give it a quick zip. Try it again. I'm going to reset. And if you don't get it, just keep on zipping until you do, essentially. And now it's open. So that's the master lock number 140. And now we have a Brinks lock. This is the 40 millimeter laminated pad lock. This one has two spools in it. Binning's not terrible, but it's not great either. It's got a little bit of variation in it, and it's a four pin lock. This one doesn't always like to zip open for me, but we'll see if we can get it. A lot of the times it's about persistence. Oh, I can feel the false set there a little bit, but Okay, we are now open. This one was a little bit more about being persistent, but we got it. So we got a lock with two spools in it. Now here comes a master lock model number 570. This is a five pin lock that contains four spools and one standard pin. Here's the bidding on this one. It's not great either. It's pretty flat, so that works in our favor. So I'm going to see what it takes to get this one open. One, two, three. Got a big false set here. Let's see if we can. Let me just reset this lock. This lock sometimes will zip open immediately. Other times it won't want to at all. There it just opened me just putting my pick in it essentially. But we are open. Now the last lock is a very common lock. This is a quick set lock. Defiant brand. It's got the KW1 keyway. I pin this lock up with a pretty flat key just to try to get the zipping to work very well. When you do do a lot of variation in the bidding, it can make the 
process a lot more difficult and oftentimes you may want to zip to start it off and then single pin pick a rake the rest of the way to get it open but we'll see what it takes this is a five pin lock with all standard pins we'll put the hook in the back here one two three Okay, now I'm going to reset the lock and try again. Persistence is always a very good thing to have on your side when you're trying to get these locks open. So, what you've seen today is me zip open one, two, three, four, five, six locks. The locks that we opened up is the clear acrylic lock. This is the first lock on my progressive lock list. Then we have the Master lock number three, which is the second lock on my progressive lock list, followed by the master lock model number 140, which is the third lock, the Brinks 40 millimeter padlock, which is the fourth lock on my progressive lock list, and then the master lock model number 570, which is the fifth lock on my progressive lock list. Now, for everyone that is learning to zip locks, I do recommend that you try getting something like a quick set so you can repin it and play with the keying because I made this lock intentionally easy to zip open. I made it have some pretty flat bidding, but if you were to make it have more highs and lows in the keying, it could be a little bit harder and it's just a great way to practice. Zipping is a great technique to help get you started on some locks and oftentimes you can single pin pick them to finish them off or sometimes rake. Either way, guys, thank you so much for checking this out. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.